So we have a building here that was modeled based on the floor plan. I'm going to hide the roof and we'll take a look uh, over the top and we'll hide this plenum here too. So these are the uh, rooms based on the architectural plans but what we really have for HVAC zoning looks more like this and we'll just work on RTU2 zone right here for now you'll notice that RTU2 serves this entire space on this side of the building but we only have these zones grouped up into rooms right now based on the architectural plans because there's really actually no wall here but for our energy model we need to have a wall there to isolate this thermal zone. So what I'm going to show you how to do is edit the model to separate this room from this room or this thermal zone from this thermal zone. First we'll go to camera and we'll change it to or we'll turn off perspective view and then we will select this space we'll use the move tool we'll select a corner of it and and we will do a we will hit the control button to copy and we'll copy it up here and this takes a minute for sketchup And then what we need to do is separate that out. So let's edit this copied space that we have here. And we can select everything up to this point to delete. And we can select this to delete, and this to delete, and this to delete, delete. And We'll just do this here and we'll draw a line connecting this edge here and this edge here. And then we need to draw a line down connecting these two to separate those. And that should split those off. We'll go back to overhead view and now we should be able to delete this and we have an intact portion of the building Go back to overhead view and we'll select out of the active and likewise for this we need to sever off this portion of the zone so same thing we will draw a line severing this portion and we also need to sever the windows you need to be very careful where you do your endpoints so that it severs it properly and now we can delete this double check that we got everything select out and then once you're done you can just move the new zone into place using the move tool again you need to make sure that you select the proper place you don't want to select this endpoint we're, we're selecting this endpoint to move you need to be very careful what points you're selecting and matching up to. We'll do go back to overhead view. And now this space is severed from this space. And we have two thermal zones. 
Thank you. Please like and subscribe.